you my dear students in the previous class i have explained regarding different systems like continuous discrete linear non linear active passive today i will explain different types of signals now different types of signals already i have told you like ram signal and step signal like all these signals and i am just sharing the ppt then it will be better to view different types of signals i think it is visible to all of you yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am okay. yes ma'am yes, ma okay very good uh first signal is today i cover different signals already i have told you step signal ram signal impulse sinusoidal square and so on first signal is step signal so what is step step signal a signal with constant magnitude and time greater than 0 this is the basic definition of that signal now if i tell the signal mathematically it will be very clear to all of you right a step function of magnitude k is defined as f t equal to k u t k is a constant might be 2 3 1 4 whatever maybe now if i consider this graph i mean the sketch of the signal this is this is unit step now your question is ma'am what is unit step if k is 1 then it is unit step so what do you mean by that for t equal to 0 the value is k it will continue after up to infinite right if k greater than 0 then value will be 1 if less than 0 value will be 0 it is very clear from the step see unit step or unit step we come to delayed step or shifted step obviously shifted means the step function will start not from zero it will start from a certain time interval here from this figure it is obvious that the step signal is starting from t equal to ts so what is the value of this point ts ts means shifted with the time capital t s so if i mathematically express the signal what will be the mathematical expression definitely here it was k it will be u t of t minus s right step function is a function of t here it is shifted by t s hence it is u t minus t s this is also unit step that is value 1 but it is starting from t s hence it is called unit step shifted i think it is clear it's clear to all of you unit step unit step shifted and normal step yes ma'am okay very good now we come to different signal again gate function what is gate function from the step signal if we use two step signal that is combination of two step signal i will get gate function what is gate function the nature of the gate function will be like this now consider this step this step if i consider this step forget about this portion okay if i consider this step it is starting from where one that is means u t minus 1 t s equal to 1 here if it is u t minus 1 then it will be continued up to infinite right and if i want to stop here then this function is starts from where arjun this is starting from where this this u t t minus 4 right now huh right Hello? so yes, if i if i if i i mean stop the first step signal that is u t t minus 1 then what to do i will start stop here this is u t t minus 4 then if i tell u t t minus 1 minus u t t minus 4 definitely it will be stop here i will get this this i mean figure is it clear to all of you 
Yes, ma'am. If it is not clear, again I will explain. Ma'am, I don't. Ma'am, I want to borrow ma'am. This is the class starting of the step function. It will be u t minus one. Forget about this portion. I mean this portion. Okay. Then it will be continued. Now, if I want to get this one, another step function will start over here. It will be continued like this. So if I add minus u t minus four here, then you will get this one. I will stop the first signal. Then this block will occur. Here, this is clear that u t my three u t minus one. Three means k. The k value is one. It is not uni step. Three u t minus one, and this is three u t minus two because this is three. Now, if I add these two, you will get this block. So, what is block? I mean, what is get function? A getting signal is a digital signal or pulse that provides a time window. This is a, like a window, so that a particular event or signal from among many will be selected. and others will be eliminated this portion is eliminated or discarded such a signal is called a getting signal and later on i will explain again the getting signal and use of getting signal come to next signal this is ram function somebody has asked me ma'am what is ram ram means already i have explained you in the previous class ram means a slope that is an upward bend right and this is not only for upward if this is upward bend it is called positive slope and if it is downward bend it is called negative slope so the ram function is a real function real means the difference between i think you know everybody you know real and imaginary so ram function will give you the real part whose graph is shaped like the ram ram means slope that is it is your positive slope So how can you mathematically derive the ram function ram function is actually ft that is equal to rt that is equal to t like ohms law if t greater than equal to 0 you will get this one in matlab or xilab today i will draw again the mat i mean ram function in xilab i will explain it the how to draw the ram function in xilab in the next class i mean today in the lab i will explain how to get the ram function with different program in xilab so what is the value of the slope here because it is normal t there is no constant term the slope is 1 now if the function is denoted by ft equal to k r t then the slope is k okay i think it is clear up to this ram function yes ma'am now come for another function shifted ram like the shifted step function there is also shifted ram in the previous slide the ram has started from t equal to 0 right now t equal to 0 mm. and here mm. the yes, ram started from t equal to a. a so how can you mathematically tell that is k equal to t minus right if a equal to 0 it will be shifted here that is you start from origin here because a equal to a, a, a value is here that is in it so f equal to kt so mathematically you can tell f equal to kt or t greater than equal to a t equal f equal to 0 that is the ram function will have the zero magnitude or t less than it. and this is the difference between shifted ram and the previous slide normal ram now come to impulse function from this figure it is very clear what is impulse function impulse function at t equal to 0 the impulse function will get infinite value and when you go to from 0 to infinite time it will have zero value this function is also known as dirac delta function mind it you note down The impulse function is denoted by Dirac delta function. I will give a quiz after my lecture. Mind it. Listen to me very carefully. This function is also known as Dirac delta function, denoted by delta t. So this is a function of a real variable t that is not imaginary, such that the function is zero everywhere except at the instant t equal to zero. 
Physically, it is a very sharp pulse. Sharp pulse of infinitesimally small width. Obviously, this is very small width. Oh, and very large magnitude at equal to zero. Now, in the other way, you can tell the impulse input is a very high pulse applied to a system over a very short time. That is the magnitude of the input approaches infinity while the time approaches zero. Come to next slide that is sinusoidal signal. What is sinusoidal signal? Sinusoidal signal may be sine wave, may be cos wave, right? So here I have explained the sine wave. And in the lab, in Xilab or MATLAB, if you write a program on the sine or cos wave, you will be able to get the nature of this curve. So what is the mathematical expression? Obviously, you know, if equal to sine bt, why ma'am b is here? b is a constant term. If you put here 4 star t or 5 star t, the graph will be better. For the reason, I have added a constant here for our better figure. Now, the next signal is damp sinusoidal signal. From the term damp sinusoidal, it is very obvious that the uh, signal that is sine wave here is not the pure sine wave. Some extra signal will hamper the signal. Right? Stressed out, do you understand? The extra signal will hamper the signal. So can you anybody tell me which is the another signal which will hamper this pure sine wave? Your idea? Cos wave signal. Cos. No, no, no. From power some negative function, which is a damp after damping um, graph. Actually, already I have written here f equal to minus a t star sine b star t, right? This is yes. the actual sine wave and e to the power minus a t. What will be the nature of the e to the power minus a t? After that, I will explain it in the board. I will use the board, white board, and I will explain there. So how can you get the damp sinusoidal? Okay. So this e to the power minus a t, how will be the, what will be the nature of this? E to the power minus a t to be like this part. Right now. Yes. If, if this curve will be here, this curve will be here, then you will get like this, like this. Yeah. So this e to the power minus a t and sine b t simultaneously will give this nature of the curve, not the pure sine wave. Hmm. Okay. Now come to another signal, square sorted signal. From this figure, it is very obvious. This is square wave, repetitive square wave. That is periodic square wave. And this is the sawtooth wave. The nature is sawtooth. I'm sorry. This is the sawtooth wave. And this figure actually is a combination of different signals. Sine wave, square wave, triangular wave, and sawtooth wave. In our Xilab class or MATLAB, whatever we, the software do you have, we will explain how to generate the repeatedly triangular function. So... Ma'am, it's oh. oscilloscope, right? I mean, it's not like that. Oscilloscope, you can different signals generate for you. You can give an option. You can choose any type of signal. There, okay? Can you see oscilloscope to see the public? Cathode ray oscilloscope to see the public. If you choose sine wave, it will, it will, uh, sine wave will be there. If you, if, if you choose square wave, it will be there. That is depend on the basis of your chosen signal, it will be shown in the CRO. Okay. All these signals, I have covered with the definition and the scale, safe, gram, impulse, and it's a